Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name is Jeff Ferris. Welcome to Woodpecker's Model Shop. Today, we're going to take a closer look at Woodpecker's 4590 Combo T. Now, this is an accessory to Woodpecker's woodworking rules. I'll show you how to put it on, how to use it, and then we're also going to take a closer look at some features on the woodworking rule that I think get overlooked a little bit. Okay, let's get started. Now the 4590 Combo T head attaches to any of our woodworking rules except the 6 inch. So that means anything from the 12, 24, 36, or 49 and a half, it can be attached to any of those, just not the 6. And it attaches at the end of each of the rules, there are two holes that are drilled and tapped. And that's where we attach all of our accessories. So I'm going to take the Combo T line it up and just drop the screws in and tighten them down. Now these screws are not off the shelf screws. We actually turn these on our precision Swiss lathes uh, because standard off the shelf screws aren't precise enough in the taper on the countersink to pull this into perfect alignment. So we actually machine those ourselves right here in the shop. Now the fit that we get between the precision turned tapered head on the screw and the taper that we cut in the head of the combo T gives us an incredible fit. This is a one and a half thousandths feeler gauge. One and a half thousandths is less than half the thickness of a human hair and it will not go between the end of the rule and the head. So let's talk about setting the angle on the 4590. We just have that button right there, and when it pops in, it's perfectly at 45 degrees. Need it back to 90, just push in on the button, pop it back to 90. A lot of people on social media have asked us why we didn't put more angles in there. Uh, and it's pretty simple. We wanted to keep this compact. Uh, if we had put more angles in there, the head would have grown significantly. The buttons, the detents in there are very large and very positive. That's why you get that very reassuring snap when it pops into place. And if we had made those smaller, it wouldn't work as good. If we put more in, the head would have grown. So we kept it simple. Now one more thing I wanna give you about adjusting the head. Uh, the springs that are in there are designed to be stiff enough that that's all you have to do. You can go ahead, tighten this knob down, and lock it very securely. If you wear both uh, belt and suspenders, that's gonna be the way you wanna go. Uh, but if you wear just one or the other, you're probably just fine with only the detents. But if you try to adjust this without a rule on it, you'll find it very frustrating. It's very hard to do. There's no reason to either. Uh, so if you are, get it out of the box, start playing with it and say, this thing's too hard to adjust. No, it's not. Screw it to your ruler, try it again, and you'll see that it works great when it's fully assembled. Now, one thing that I really like about the 4590 Combo T is, this is the only way that we can actually have a Woodpecker's 49 and a half inch T-square. Our traditional T-squares, the longest one we make is 32 inches. Uh, but if we're working with full sheets, we need to be able to get all the way across 40 inches. And for that, I'm gonna take my 4590, I'm gonna put it on our longest rule, which is 49 and a half inches. Now we're gonna take this, I can take that against the edge, and look at that, I have a square line all the way across a full sheet of plywood. Now at the beginning, I promised you a look at an underutilized feature of Woodpecker's woodworking rules, and that is the centering scale. I wanna show you how that works and why it is so cool. So I have a board here. I haven't measured what the width of this is, but I need to find the exact center. Now, normally what that would mean is 
I'd take a scale, I'd measure it, I'd divide by two, I'd then try and find it. But, you know, there's a really good chance that this isn't anywhere close to an actual even measurement. So let's take a look at how we find the middle of the board with the centering rule. I'm gonna just eyeball that. I'm gonna look at it so that center scale reads correct for me. I'm gonna drop that on there with the zero close to what I think is the middle. Then I'm gonna to go to this edge and it says I'm at six and three quarter. This side says I'm at six and a half. So if I go to just about six and nine sixteenths on both sides, that is the exact center of that board. It is right here where the zero point is. There's the middle of my board, just that fast and without ever doing any math. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed our look into the 4590 Combo T, and I hope you got something out of that little tip on the woodworking rules. If you enjoyed the show today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you always know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. Now, if you'd like more information on the 4590 Combo T, there's a link down in the description below and one for the woodworking rules as well. And there are links right over here to the videos on both the 4590 Combo T and the woodworking rules. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.